Hello, what's up guys and welcome back man to another video of uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex on the CXBX Reloaded Emulator man in 4K. So yeah, in this episode right here, we're just going to continue with the game and we're going to finish off the uh, water hub world right there. Which I actually really really enjoy so uh, let's just jump right into it man. We got a nice really good uh, level right here, Jungle Rumble, with a banger soundtrack man. Let's go. You've got some nerve setting foot into my domain without an invitation. Don't talk back to me! I'll fix that attitude problem of yours! Man, chill! Alright, let's go, man. As I said, this level's got a banger soundtrack, man. And uh, a lot of the levels on this uh, particular hub world right there is. Like, got really, really good soundtracks, man. Especially the, uh, the swimming levels. Can't remember if there's one or two swimming levels on this uh, hub world. Or chapter, or whatever you want to call it. But I think there might be two, actually. And they both have banger soundtracks. So, uh, looking forward to playing those. I actually enjoy the, uh, the water levels in this game. To listen to the shit, man. Get out of here. But yeah, after this chapter right here, we actually unlock the double jump. Which, uh, honestly, I just cannot wait. Love the double jump. Staple in platforming gaming, man. Or 3D platformers. Park right there, man. Absolute banger. Let me just get that crate real quick before it disappears because you never know, man. <laughs> you might be just a tiny bit too slow all of a sudden, then you have to die. Cheeky crates over here. Yeah, I just want to thank all of you guys for the nice support on the first part of this playthrough. It's getting a lot of views, man. Some uh, nice attraction. And there we go, we got a bonus stage. Pretty straightforward uh, level right there, guys. And I think we're going to use the sneak ability for the first time right there. At least I think so. Yeah, here we go. We actually don't have to. You can make this jump anyway. But uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Just had to find the button. There we go. Got a cheeky one-up right there. That we don't want to miss. Yo. Yo, what's going on here, man? There we go, holy shit, that was about to worry for a second right there. Or I wasn't about to worry, I was worrying pretty bad. Thought I wasn't going to get that for a second. Would have been pretty funny. There we go. And we got everything perfect. We're getting so many one-ups as well. There we go, man. I actually really enjoyed this section right as well. It's time to escape from the rhinos. And the good thing is that they get the crates for you anyway if you miss them. Well, except for a few. We'll be fine, man. We'll be fine. I'll try to collect them regardless, though. So. Holy shit, I was about to die. Alright, here we go. We need to not miss any crates right now. Nice, we got him. 
the soundtrack just fits perfectly for the scene, man. Nice. We did it. Hopefully we got all the crates. Yes, indeed. Let's go. There we go, man. Let's go save. Yeah, and just like in last episode, we have to save between every level because the emulator seems to uh, crash sometimes. Let me just check out the levels real quick. Yeah, we do have two swimming levels. Nice. All right, let's go, man. Seashell shenanigans. Uh, this soundtrack right there is actually one of the reasons why I even decided to uh, make a playthrough of this game right now. So I've had this shit stuck on my brain for uh, so long now, to be honest. I'm the type of guy that likes to listen to uh, video game soundtracks. Let me just lose a hit, uh, lose a aqua aqua mask real quick. Well, <laughs> I should not have done that, I guess. But yeah, I actually really enjoy listening to uh, video game soundtracks. There's so many good out there, man. If you ever pay attention to video game soundtracks, you will know. There's a lot of good composers out there. Really good, actually. And this one right there is actually a perfect example. Straight up banger. Nice. Oh, this part right here, man. Man, this this version of the game looks so good on the water, man. Looks real nice, wow. Epic. Holy shit. It's just too good, man. Like, what the heck? Doesn't have any uh, reason to be this much of a banger. Doesn't have any right to it, man. Alright, let's try to not die. <laughs> Dodging everything. Nice little one-up as well. We like it, we like it. Collateral. No, I didn't pay attention, man. I need to do, uh, just do this when I go downwards. Right there is another example of the developers trying to deba bamboozle the shit out of you. Just, uh, there's actually nothing here. Nothing at all. They just really want you to die for no reason, pretty much. Oh my god. If I didn't dodge that shit right there, I was going to die. Goddamn Wampa Fruits, man. Careful. One ups. There we go.
Man, I gotta be more careful, man. What am I doing? I think we're basically done with the level right there as well. If I remember correctly. Yep. There we go. Hopefully we got all the crates. And we did. Perfecto. GG's. Man, what a stage, man. The thing is, though, I actually really enjoy the gameplay, so... It seems like ju it's just a thing that uh, everyone hates on all gameplay variants in this game, except for a classic Crash, you know. Oh, well, here comes an interesting one. Coco. Bonsai... No. Banzai? Bonsai? Something like that, man. Let's go. Leave my levels alone! But yeah, here we go, man. First stage as Coco, which is uh, basically just a shittier version of Crash. <laughs> Why did the developers do uh, Coco dirty like this, man? Oh, she got one good uh, move though, which is the the stomp move. But other than that, pretty lackluster, man. And I guess she... Nah. I have no reason why she collects the Wampa Fruits on some of the crates when she lands on them on, and not on the others. Wow. I'm a professional gamer, guys, I promise. Really nice soundtrack, though. Or pretty much all of the soundtracks in this game. Oh, I'm gonna retract that statement right now. <laughs> not all of the soundtracks, but like... I'd say about 90% at least. Or straight bangers in this game, man. And then there's that one swimming stage. Or not swimming, I think. It's only submarine, maybe. Anyway, that one ocean stage in this game. That just has the most shitty soundtrack of them all and uh, the most frustrating gameplay. I'm 100% certain that you guys know which stage I'm uh, talking about or referring to. Holy shit, that was fast. Ninja kick. Here we need a, a red gem or a ruby or whatever. Can you call it a gem if it's uh, red? Or is it automatically a ruby then? I actually don't know. Doing pretty fine so far. If you just look past the uh, the earlier death. <laughs> but I enjoy the the Coco gameplay in this game. But she could, they could have. Uh, Gotten her some cooler abilities though, maybe maybe some nice gadgets. Cause she is the technician uh, girl, you know, technical one in the in the crew. So maybe give her some cool gadgets, and uh, everything would have been fine. And right there, we actually, uh, wow, amazing gameplay, guys. We'll get that uh, crate uh, anyway when we destroy all the nitro crates. Not want to take the chance right there. So I want to save my Aku Aku for later. There we go. I hope we got everything. I think we did. And another one up. We're gonna go. Well, we're gonna get to 99 in no time. Well, not if I play like this. Die on the easiest jumps of all time, too. What a burmer. Alright, it's not screwed up anymore, man. <laughs> I 
That's the thing about the 2D in this game. They made the 2D planes too wide, man. Should not be able to uh, dodge people like that. Just sidestep everything. There it is. Perfect. That sinking feeling. This one is going, gonna go by quite fast, so uh, don't blink, guys. Or hopefully, it's going to be fast. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's try to not get hit too much. Let's try to collect uh, some of the crates as we go. There we go. Yo, can you guys chill for a second, please? You can't even do a barrel roll with this uh, flying insect. I think it's three hits per uh, ship. Holy. Wait, do we have no health uh, balloons left? That's actually pretty bad. Alright, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up. Please don't hit me. Step it. Holy shit, man, that was close. And the game haven't crashed yet, man. Amazing. Alright, there we go, man. Fifth level. H2, oh no. Really good. Uh, I was about to say planet, man. Level. Let's go. They're gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you. Alright, there we go, man. Another banger soundtrack. I actually really, really enjoy this uh, level too, man. And this is like the thing that I really like about this game too. They uh, they use like a, a variety of uh, gameplay type types in uh, different levels. So you don't have like only swimming in a level and stuff like that. Or you do have that sometimes too, but so many levels with uh, like variety in the gameplay, you know. And I always thought that was just so cool about this game. I don't think any levels in the original trilogy did anything like this evolutionary man playstation 2 right there power or xbox <laughs> in this case what amazing power man and i remember when i got my uh, playstation 2 or when we got our playstation 2 and this was the first game that we got this and mtx motor tracks and I was blown away, man. Even as a three or four years old, I can't remember how old I was, but something like that. Completely blown away, man. And here we go. Regular crash gameplay right there. And just listen to this banger soundtrack, man. There's a reason why this is the best crash game. Oh no, the soundtrack! <laughs> no. And it resets the soundtrack as well. Oh no! I took damage. Hell yeah! Alright, that's fine. Mm. 
This is also one of those soundtracks that I can just listen to over and over again. Body slam. And bonus stage. I think we can just do this right there actually. It's pretty easy to make that jump. Just gotta do it like this. Amazing. There's nothing up here, right? Yeah, we're good. Very nice. Hopefully we'll get to uh, listen to the rest of the soundtrack. <laughs> really nice visuals here as well. This is a really cool stage overall, man. And I don't think we're going to be able to hear the, uh, the rest of the soundtrack here, actually. So we're pretty much at the end of the stage. Yep. GG. Alright, here we go. Boss battle time. Drain damage. More like brain damage. Because this uh, stage right here can actually give you brain damage. If you die enough time. So you gotta, you gotta watch out, man. Alright, here we go. It can be a bit tricky at times. But we should be fine. Wait, did we just lose our Aku Aku? Gee, daddy. No! I actually got hit by that. What a bummer. And again. Right, let's try to not die over and over again now. Before I... Wow! Would have loved to have that uh, double jump right now. Take our time. Let's not die anymore now. Holy shit! Out oh, here we go. Double jump time. Man. Lovely. There we go. We did it, man. So that will be it. Making a mockery of me in front of my minions. Not only have you defeated the elemental masks, but you are still collecting those worthless crystals. Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro the fire elemental will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on. I don't need some flaming mask to help me. I can take Crush on by myself. Crunch, you will do as I say. And Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. Okay, man. Yeah, the thing about this part of the game right there as well is that uh, they actually don't pause the music when Cortex uh, starts talking, so... Kinda weird, but... Uh, or actually, it does it only in the first time 
that he comes out and talks for some reason, but uh, not the rest. But yeah, guys, we're going to end up the episode right here. Next this episode, we're going to finish up the, uh, the fire herb world right there, which is actually a straight up banger. And then we only have the, uh, the snow and the I don't even know what to call this shit. Galaxy, space, whatever. Really short game, actually, to be honest. But, uh, what a banger, man. So, yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Leave a like and comment if you did, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Now, I hope you guys have a really nice day, man. Bye bye.